because Bunky thought this was cheese. Wow. Oh, wowzers. Yeah, right, you can do that? I can do it. Girl. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello sweet friends and welcome back to my kitchen. So for today's video, I have three more super tasty and easy crescent roll recipes to share with y'all. These were like top notch, so I know you're gonna love them. And I am so excited to tell you guys that today's video is a collab with one of my very best friends, Amber. You may know her from Amber at Home, but she just recently started a new channel called Feeding the Birds. And this is where all of her cooking content is going to live. And if you already follow her, you you know that this girl can cook and she has some of the best recipes. Bunky and I actually watch her videos together and we are always so impressed. I mean, y'all, they're like mouthwatering and just incredible. I love her. You know that she is one of my dearest, dearest friends and I could not rave enough about what an incredible person she is. And I know you guys are going to love this new channel. So I will have it linked down below in my description box. Be sure you head over there, subscribe to that new channel. You're gonna be so happy that you did. And she already has quite a few videos up with incredible recipes in there. So be sure you go and watch some videos if you need some recipe inspo. But let's go ahead and get into these crescent roll recipes. Okay, so for this first recipe, we're gonna make like a little breakfast pizza. Since it's just Bunky and I, I'm only gonna use half of this so that I can use the other half for another recipe we're gonna do. But if you're making this for your entire family, use the entire thing and I'll explain here in a second. This is actually helping me kind of clean out my fridge because I only have a little bit of bacon left so I'm gonna go ahead and cook that up and we'll use bacon for our meat you could also do um, cooked crumbled sausage you could do like a ham and cheese ham and turkey like whatever meat you want this is what is so great about this and then I only have a little bit of this Colby Jack cheese left we're gonna go ahead and grate that so that um, it's like shredded but if you wanted to use cheddar or Parmesan or whatever whatever cheese you want since I'm only making a very small amount, I'll probably only need one egg. I may need two. We'll see once we get there. But, of course, if you're making the whole thing, you're probably going to need three. I'll add some milk in there, scramble it, salt and pepper. And then also I have some hash browns here that I'm just letting thaw. And then we're going to add those too. This is going to be so good, so simple. And you could do like 10 different variations of this. But first things first, let's get this bacon cooked. Y'all, I'm dying laughing because Bunky thought this was cheese and he tried to sneak a bite. <laughs> but it's just the hash browns. Okay, bacon's done. I am gonna actually go ahead and shred this cheese. Someone's down here, he smelled bacon and came running. Yeah. Y'all, I'm laughing because Bunky said, are you sure it's gonna be enough cheese? And I just shredded it and I was like, that ain't enough cheese. I'm gonna have to shred some more. I have some sharp cheddar that I need to use as well, so I think I'll shred a little bit of that too. Okay, now this is much better. It might even be a little too much, but I'll just save some and put it back in the fridge. Now, to my egg, I'm just gonna use my little measuring cup to whisk this, and then instead of salt and pepper, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Auntie Nono's. This is always um, linked down below in my description box, and my discount code always works for that if y'all ever wanna use it. And then I'm just gonna add a little splash of milk in there as well. Okay, also I wanna mention that I did go ahead and preheat our oven to 375. And now the fun part of getting this crescent roll dough um, laid out, you can do it as like a circle if you want to. I'm just gonna do a easy little rectangle. And also I did go ahead and lightly grease my baking sheet. Okay, so like I said, I am only gonna make a small one for Bunky and I. So I'm gonna use the rest of this for our next recipe, but 
if you, you know, are feeding a crowd, use the entire thing. So I'm just coming in here and kind of pinching all of these seams together, but also I need to kind of make a little barrier for whenever I pour in my egg mixture. Y'all, that ain't enough. We need some more crescent rolls. Okay, this is more like it. <laughs> I was looking at that and I was like, I'm gonna eat all of that and Mr. Bunky's not even gonna have a bite, so this will be way better. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, I'm just kind of making a little barrier wall over here so whenever we pour, pour in the egg mixture, it doesn't um, spill out. Okay, so now we just build our pizza. I'm gonna go ahead and top it with our bacon. And then our thawed hash browns. This is what's gonna make it good, y'all. And then our cheese. Now, probably the Colby Jack was, you know, plenty of cheese, but <laughs> y'all know the bunkies. We can never have too much. And then lastly is our egg. And just very gently kind of pour this all over the top of it just to make sure none of it leaks out. I think I need one more egg. I'm gonna do one more, hang on. Okay, and then this is just gonna go into the oven. I have a little bit of spillage, but no worries. <laughs> this is gonna go into the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes. Daisy Mae, come here. You want a piece of cheese? It's your favorite. <gasps> there we go. Okay, so I just pulled it out of the oven and it looks so good. Even my little egg crust around here looks good. Bumpy will love to eat that part. Speaking of, mm. are you ready? <laughs> what is this part here? Well, my little egg or cheese? It's egg. It kind of like ran out okay. the side. I was hoping that was a little, a little. No, that's not cheese. Are you still going to eat it? No. Oh, okay. I will like that though. That looks real good. Yeah. And this over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's cut this up. Oh, huh? Yes. Smooth transfer there. Yes. Do you want some salsa to like dip this in? I might uh, dash some Tabasco on there. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm trying to find our pizza cutter. Okay, y'all tell me this does not look just divine. I mean, I can't even, I gotta take a picture. Okay, this turned out so cute, so simple, a great little easy breakfast idea. And I think if you have kiddos, this will be so fun to make together and just kind of throw whatever you want to on there. I was saying how like, this would be really good if you put like chopped up ham and turkey and kind of did it that way. Yeah. That would be good. Oh, and you could put diced tomatoes. Oh, yes. Scallions. That, I, I was thinking, oh gosh, some green onion on there. That would be really good. That would bring it up a notch. Yes. But he's in there holding the Tabasco. He's like, if you don't let me take a yeah, bite of this. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> there you go. I, I'm, I must say what I'm impressed with, with you making this, is uh -huh. this... You, you got like the true rim of like the... Like the pizza. Yeah. It was so that I could hold the egg in there. Mmm, mm, that's good. That is good. Oh my gosh. I really like that. You know what I love? What? The little bit of hash browns in there. That's what makes it so good. Mmm. This is quite tasty actually. Yeah. So you know how there's like the, the typical, uh, for me it's like Christmas morning mm -hmm. at breakfast casserole. This is like very similar to that but I like the structure and the composition of this actually better. Me too. It's like less dough, so it's perfect. Yeah. Wow. Okay. This was great. So simple. Sorry the lighting's weird. <laughs> you all gotta make this one and let me know what you think. But he has one more thing. Disney man wants to bite. B said he has one more thing he wants to tell you. Wow, I was thinking, this is the type of, like say you're having a bridal shower or an early morning event where you're hosting like a small group of people. Yes. This is handheld and it's like, I mean, it's holding up, you know? Mommy, that's so sweet that you thought of that. Yeah. So it's like, so true. This, this would be good for like, if you're having a, a gathering of folks. Like a little brunch? Need, and you need a little breakfast food. Yeah. This is actually a 
Okay, so now for this second recipe, we're gonna make some super easy meatball sliders. I told Bunky that I was gonna make these a couple of days ago, and he has asked me about them every single day since then, so today's the day I'm gonna make them, and there's only four ingredients, so they're gonna be very simple to make. Okay, so to make these, you're of course gonna need some crescent roll dough, you're gonna need some spaghetti sauce, whichever one is your favorite. You're also gonna wanna get some mozzarella cheese slices, and then some meatballs. Now, I will say you want to get the meatballs that are the um, half ounce because they're going to be bite sized and fit into that crescent roll perfectly. And you can just get frozen and you don't have to thaw them before you make this recipe, which is even better. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and get our spaghetti sauce into our pan and then we'll drop in our meatballs and just kind of let these warm all the way through. So it'll probably take about five to eight minutes. Now, of course, I'm just making enough for me and Bunky, but if you were going to make them for a party or get to Together, you would make a lot more. Okay, these are looking good. I think they're almost done. And then I went ahead and laid out my crescent roll over here. Now the recipe that I'm going off of says to take each triangle and to cut it in half to make two different triangles. And then that should be enough dough to cover your meatball and your cheese. And I'm just gonna kind of tear my cheese slices as I go to fit inside of each one. So here we go. Okay, to be honest, I don't know if this is really necessary because like that is small. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to like piece two of the triangles together to cover a meatball. So I'm gonna see how it works doing this, but then also you probably can just use one full triangle. I think the recipe says to do that so that you can make, or you can make your um, crescent roll dough go further. Okay, so here are my thoughts after doing this one. I do not think if you cut it in half, this piece is really big enough to hold everything. So I say don't cut them in half. I just use the other half of this one to like lay over top and it's gonna end up being perfect. And then as far as the sauce goes, you wanna have a little bit of that goodness in there, but you don't want to put like too much because you don't want your crescent roll soggy. So just kind of get enough with your meatball, kind of like, a spoonful and then that's like enough sauce and meatball combined hopefully that makes sense okay i'm gonna finish the rest of these Okay, so I got them all wrapped up and then the last thing we're gonna do is just take a little bit of Italian seasoning and kind of sprinkle this over the tops. Then we're gonna pop these into the oven at 375 for just like 18 to 20 minutes. And then once these are out of the oven, we're gonna take this leftover spaghetti sauce and put it in a little container on the side and this is what we're gonna dip them in. Now, in full transparency, I did take a couple fresh crescent roll triangles that had not been cut and I used those for a couple of them and it worked so much better. So I say definitely don't cut yours in half. I just don't think that's enough dough to go around it and make it like close all the way. And then also I will say the least amount of sauce that you put in there, the easier it is to work with. So definitely take into consideration those two things. Are you ready? I'm ready, Bob. To see the magic. Let's see what we got. You've been asking me for these. Hopefully Ooh, they're done. My. Oh my. Wow. Oh, wowzers. Oh. I mean, hello. Woohoo! Look at that cheese pull. Okay, but hang on, you have to like dip a little bit, you know? Pull experience. Yeah. Let me see inside. Well, I didn't get to the meatball, but oh. that's okay. Oh man. Is it so hot? It's not that hot. Okay. Mmm. That is good. Give us the rundown, B. Because only four ingredients, so very easy to make. Mm hmm So would you add change? Are they perfect the way they are? Presently, I think that they are absolutely magical. Oh, really? Yeah, that's good. Very good. Oh, yay. I love a little extra um, spaghetti sauce. Yeah, I would say that, that that's nice. That's needed. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so this is a winner? 
Oh yeah. Okay, so y'all, four ingredients, so easy to make. Don't cut your triangles in half. Perfect party food, or having these for dinner with a little side salad, perfection. Okay, so I'll meet y'all back here in the kitchen tomorrow for our third recipe, and I may have saved the best for last, if that's even possible, because both of these have been so good. But it's a dessert recipe that I think is gonna blow our socks off. Ooh. Okay, y'all, are you ready for this third recipe? This one is just going to be so good, I cannot even contain my excitement. We are gonna make cinnamon cream cheese bars, y'all. This dessert could not be any simpler, and I promise you, I feel like this is gonna taste like so gourmet, and you're gonna need to take this like all of your future parties, and people are gonna be so impressed. Also, I just thought of this. Y'all know my sausage and cream cheese casserole that I love and I make all the time. Y'all love it too. It's kind of like the dessert version of that, exact same concept. Okay, so for this recipe, you're gonna need two packages of crescent rolls. You're also gonna need two packages of softened cream cheese, the softer the better. We're gonna add those here to our bowl and then mix them with some vanilla extract and some sugar. And that's gonna be our filling. And at first I didn't realize that this recipe calls for two packages. So only one of mine is very softened. The other is only medium softened. <laughs> so we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so now to this, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then one cup of sugar. And we're gonna blend this all together. If you have a handheld mixer, you can use that or a KitchenAid, whatever you have. Friends, I'm a little bit panicked because I think in our move, I have somehow lost the, what do you call them? The beaters. The beaters that go into my handheld mixer and that's all I have and I cannot find them anywhere. I have like searched this entire kitchen. I don't know what I'm gonna do, B. <laughs> I'm gonna need your manpower to mix that. Oh boy. And that's cream cheese. Like and it has to be like softened, like I, whipped. I got you. Yeah, right, you can do that? I can do it. I can do it. Y'all, we're gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna put Bucky to work. And only one of the blocks of cream cheese is very softened, the other not so much. Oh, well, see, I was overconfident then. I thought they were both gonna be super soft. No, but that one is very soft. We might need something a little more sturdy than this here spatula. Let me get you a different utensil here. Where could these things be? I have literally looked every drawer that I think possible. Are you sure? Yes. Check everywhere. Everywhere. This is all rested on your shoulders, Bunk. <laughs> mm, I got it. Looking good. Oh. I feel like this is better than what a blender could have done. Oh. Is your muscles tired? Getting a little, getting a little worn out over here, but. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. This is like. Beautiful, luxurious. Yeah. Can we just eat this? I know, right? I'm not gonna lie, I did take a little. Oh, I'm gonna have a little snack. I'm gonna have a little bite over here. I'm gonna have a little dollop. Woo! Just burned like 10 calories. <laughs> and we're gonna get them back. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now that we got this part done, the rest is easy. Okay, so we are going to preheat our oven to 350. Then we're gonna take our nine by 13 and one can of our crescent rolls, lay this on the bottom, the entire thing, and that will be like our bottom layer, and then we will top it with our mixture. And then just go through and kind of pinch these things together. Okay, and then just start spreading this out so we get like a nice even layer. Okay, so now you're gonna put your top layer of crescent roll dough right over top of your mixture. And again, kind of pinch those seams together. Okay, so now that we have that done, the next thing we're gonna do is melt one stick of butter. Now, I kind of felt like an entire stick was a lot, but that's what the recipe says. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so my butter is almost done melting. And while that finishes, I'm gonna go ahead and make our topping. So we're gonna pour all of that melted butter right on top and then, we're not done. <laughs> We're gonna sprinkle some cinnamon sugar all over the top as well. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be the most yummy dessert and just so simple. So I already have my sugar in there. I'm gonna add my cinnamon and then we will get this thing ready for the oven.
Okay, this literally looks heavenly. I put it back in the oven for a couple of minutes just because there was so much extra melted butter, but I don't want to cook it for too much longer because I can tell this is getting like a good little crust. So the recipe does say to let it cool completely before you eat it. You want to like serve it at room temperature. So I'm thinking while I let that cool down, the rest of that little bit of melted butter will kind of seep in there and go away. So make it even better, honestly. So we're just going to let it cool, which is the hardest part because I'm going to want to eat this so bad. But we'll let it cool and then we will cut into it. It also says like refrigerate it, obviously to eat the next day so you can kind of eat this cold almost like a cheesecake if you want to but I think room temperature warm oh my goodness y'all this is gonna be amazing okay I think the time has come do you want to do the honors of cutting into it I would love to okay cut us a piece to share actually we might want our own piece <laughs> you just want to go right down the middle yeah that's fine and then we can both have half no you silly oh, goose okay. <laughs> Pop this bad boy out. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. ho. OMG. I mean, yes, please. <laughs> this looks incredible. I'll let you have the first bite. This reminds me of like a, hold on, you know, I gotta smell it. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's like, like monkey bread or something. Well, it's almost like a cinnamon roll and like cheese. It's like a cinnamon roll cheesecake or like a Danish. Yes. Oh, it's still warm. See, it said to serve it like room temperature, like a little warm. Girl. <laughs> this is like eating a cheesecake with like cinnamon sugar. I oh mean, my it is, gosh. It is good. This is really good. Oh, I cannot wait to try it. So happy to have mixed this together for you. <laughs> mm. Okay, I gotta try it. It's just speaking my language. I know. I mean, I don't know if you call this dessert, but hello breakfast. <laughs> yeah. May not be a healthy breakfast, but it will be a good breakfast. Yes, for sure. I think what I'm most excited about is the warm cheesecake, you know? That filling is so good. Right? Oh my goodness. It's, al it's always the best for last with you. Wow. The filling. There's something magical about that. Wow. That is amazing. Okay, y'all absolutely have to make this recipe and tell me what you think. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Be sure you head over and check out Amber's new channel, Feeding the Birds. I will have it linked down below for you guys. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.